my involvement with public engagement really started through giving public lectures and writing popular books and articles for newspapers and so on. But it was very much me telling the community, me telling people about our research. And there wasn't really a particularly meaningful two-way dialogue. And when the public engagement fellowships were, were advertised, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to try out a, um, a project that I've had on the back burner for quite a number of uh, years, really, which is the notion of uh, community-based hacking. So the idea of community-based hacking is, is actually getting people under the bonnet of, of computers and actually getting an insight into how they actually work. Because if you understand better how computers work, you can start to play around with them and be a lot more creative in terms of how you use them. Martin advertised he wanted to work somebody to run workshops with him and I thought it was of interest because my PhD side's going into the computer game and it's more like the technology and the visual language in computer games what I'm interested in. I came to university in 2005 to do a degree in illustration myself and I was dyslexic and I found the barriers I had myself as a dyslexic student who left school with no qualifications and managed to get through into um, through my skills of being an artist into university um, and the difficulties I had and the barriers I had as a dyslexic student I started to design games which would help my own diverse way of thinking and exploring information. So the people that we, we currently have engaged with the project uh, are a mix of creative uh, individuals taken from the university uh, and young people who are taken from all across Manchester, Greater Manchester really, who've maybe shown an interest in computing and using computing and they've shown a bit of an aptitude for maybe using Photoshop and graphics packages and so on. But they want to take it a little bit further and actually work out what's going on under the bonnet and learn how to create their own software. For me, it had a connection with public engagement because I'm trying to get a message out myself to people who are walking around thinking I'm dyslexic, I can't go to university. We're not an isolated campus on the edge of town. Uh, and set a nice green parkland, you know, we're, we're a, an urban city campus and I think um, we need to be a bit more permeable in terms of our boundaries and make people realise that they can come in, use the facilities and that's why um, when we organise these workshops we thought it would be a good idea for people to come into the university rather than necessarily organising the workshops in the community. The Beacon has really facilitated um, getting people together to talk, to swap best practice and to make people realise that they're not on their own and that public engagement is a worthwhile activity. It's important, it's valued, and that there are people within Manchester and, and, and beyond doing really good, great public engagement work.